Welcome everyone, Dylan Jamelli here today with a brand new video for you. So today we are going to talk about HGH and your libido. But before we get into that, I have to reiterate that I am not a doctor. Anything I say in these videos is for your entertainment purposes only. What you do with this information is completely and utterly up to you. And I am not advising nor condoning you to use any of the things that we discuss in any way, shape, or form. So, um, I actually got this question posed to me um, on the forums and I thought, man, I've never discussed this. I don't really see much on this. It's not something that you hear talked about very often at all. So I thought it'd be a really interesting topic to kind of get into. And I started to get into it a little bit more um, and thought, wow, this is really a good topic. So I think it's going to be a really interesting one uh, for everybody watching. Now, <clears throat> having a good sex drive actually might not mean the same thing to you as it does to somebody else, the next person, the next person. So don't judge your libido by what another person tells you, their stories, all that BS, all that garbage. If you think your sex drive is low, then think about maybe when you were in your 20s or your 30s, when it was a little bit better, and that's the best barometer that you can use since it was kind of before your human growth hormone levels started to dip, because we know that once you get into your 30s, that's when levels start to decline. So. Then that poses the question, does HGH affect your sex drive? And if it does, how does it do it? So it actually does. Okay, I'm going to get into that. Even orgasms in multiple ways, to be honest with you. Now, your libido is not tied into only your sexual organs um, or your emotional state, but um, you know it plays a significant role in sex drive, meaning both areas do. So circulation heart health, sleep, stress, all these things, they all play a factor and a role in this. Now, sex drive actually begins in your brain, okay? So, there's a combination going on here of blood chemistry, like hormones, endorphins, mood, stress, all of these factors can play an impact on your sexual urges. Now, your brain is a really complex network of neurotransmitters and hormone receptors that actually require stimulation up above before you can actually achieve stimulation down below. And a lot of times when I run into to people telling me they got low libido, etc., it's really all up here, okay? Um, not, not always, but oftentimes when I find when I'm going through blood work and I can't find anything, nothing seems to add up, the old brain, the old brain will do it. Um, now, you know, HGH itself is a hormone, all right? that acts on the brain to actually stimulate these neurotransmitters I'm talking to and improve emotional stability. So human growth hormone also helps to promote sleep and also to reduce cortisol levels. And cortisol, as we know, is the stress hormone. So that's obviously something you want reduced when it's coming to sex drive. So the older you get, the more your life starts to change. Okay, we all know that. Um, every single one of us can't beat that clock. Now, you have stress on your job. Um, to keep up with younger, more enthusiastic co-workers, for example. At home, there might be stress if you've got kids. Maybe you're taking care of your parents. You know, sometimes having to work too much can cause a strain at home. Anything, who knows? All right? But since weight gain and aging skin can make you feel undesirable, then you might feel less inclined towards sexual advances. Lack of sleep and low energy can also play a big role in impacting your libido. All right, now HGH actually works directly on the brain to help stimulate sex drive. So why does low HGH then decrease sex drive? Well, the older you get, the lower your HGH levels become as we've already established several times. The pituitary gland starts to reduce HGH production by the time most people reach their 30s. Although the decline is slow, it can affect people differently, some far more than others. Um, now, low levels of HGH are going to actually interfere with sleep. They're gonna cause the body to increase cortisol secretion as well. Now, since cortisol also interferes with testosterone production, then you suffer from a dec decreased sex drive since that is the primary uh, libido promoting horm hormone in women and men, all right? Um, now, there's many variables that go into your desire to have sex. So when you're stressed, it's extremely difficult to get yourself in the mood. You have too many other things on your mind. If you're tired from a lack of sleep, then you're not gonna have the excess energy necessary for sexual intercourse as well. So as HGH levels decline, then your cell regeneration also slows down. 
That can impact your internal organ functions, causing your hair to become thinner and increase the appearance of wrinkles, sagging skin. Now, since HGH also influences metabolism, you're more likely to gain weight. Now, these changes in appearance can cause a person to lose complete self-confidence, and you may not want your partner, you know, touching you, you know, especially in your stomach, you may want to take your shirt off, I mean, who knows, all right? Um, but basically, low HGH levels can impact your appearance, stress, and sleep, these all can affect your sex drive. Now, how does HGH itself affect sexual performance? Sex drive has a lot to do with sexual performance. So if you know that you're gonna have trouble maintaining an erection, it can cause you to shut down your feelings and your desires. Now for women, a lack of lubrication that occurs with age can lead to painful intercourse as well. So sometimes it seems easier to go without that and suffer you know, abrasive pain from friction. Now, part of the reason you suffer from low sex drive as HGH levels decline is that your body is not producing enough blood cells. So if you experience a, a decline in circulation, your heart cannot pump you know, enough oxygen-rich blood to stimulate your sexual organs. Both men and women require this um, you know, for penile and um, clitoral stimulation, things of that nature. Low levels of HGH can cause LDL cholesterol to increase as well. This can lead to a buildup of artery-clogging plaque that then decreases circulation. So since HGH helps to stimulate testosterone secretion and testosterone initiates red blood cell production in bone marrow, you have reduced blood flow to the sex organs. Now, HGH is gonna provide you with the following benefits. It's gonna increase testosterone levels, which is gonna help you to improve libido and red blood cell production. It's gonna lower your LDL cholesterol to then reduce plaque buildup and improve blood flow. It's gonna provide more oxygen um, to rich blood for increasing erectile strength and duration. And it's gonna increase sensitivity to the clitoris and vagina while improving lubrication. So, will taking HGH then increase your sex drive? Although nothing in life is ever guaranteed, HGH has helped thousands and thousands of adults, and I've, I've done a lot of research on this, reignite flames of their passion, all right? When you bring your HGH levels back into proper balance, you allow the body to function as it should. You can then expect to notice significant changes in your appearance um, you know, within a few months, and it only takes a few weeks to start to sleep better, feel more energized, and to also have stress reduction. These changes can all impact your sex drive, all right? Now, Results of HGH are all subjective, okay? So there's no set time that I can tell you that each specific benefit, but I've done a video on what to expect in a timeline, you know, with HGH. Some people will notice a change before the fir first month is even over. For others, it might take a few months to notice an increase in sex drive. The good news is that you should see an improvement in your sex drive from HGH use and therapy, all right? So, that, my friends, is HGH in your libido. I really hope that that was beneficial.